Hello sweethearts, it's Kimberly Level here from KimberlyLevel.com and today I want to talk with you about how you can attract more clients into your business. Now, sometimes it's really challenging. If you're working from home, you can kind of get into a routine whereby you're a little bit isolated and one of the fantastic ways to get the support and to get the referrals and to attract clients and fantastic joint venture partners can be to attend networking events. So there are many, many networking events, but let's start off with talking about networking. Because how do you feel about networking? Yeah, Are you networking right now? Do you love networking or are you like, oh my god, no. <laughs> and I'm going to confess to you here that Whilst I love speaking with people, I really haven't been the best networker in the world. I consider myself quite an extrovert, but what I noticed was that I can feel a little bit uncomfortable when I'm networking because there's people that I don't know, maybe people are speaking and they're in kind of a little a couple and they're talking and I'm not quite sure how to kind of you know, break into that conversation or to join them, I kind of feel a bit like I'm eavesdropping. Um, so, yeah, it's been very uncomfortable for me at times and this is something that I've really had to find a way to break through my fear around networking and to um, overcome that and to come from that place of really just having fun, connecting with people, kind of like being at a party and you never know who you're going to meet. So I've had a fantastic morning at a business networking meeting which was amazing and I really set up this intention before I went to the meeting that I would meet some wonderful people and that would make some great contacts and have a wonderful time and that's exactly what happened. I actually was met by somebody who also was kind of a guest at this event and hadn't been before like myself so they didn't know anybody, so there we were, kind of connected, and then I got introduced to somebody else who made me feel really welcome, and I actually was put in touch with some amazing people that would be fantastic joint venture partners, some fantastic people that have invited me to speak at their groups, so it was a really worthwhile time, and would be great for my business, so I'm really wanting to encourage you to step out of your comfort zone. If you're feeling that you know networking's not for you, then I'm challenging you to reframe networking and to deal with feelings that networking brings up for you. Now, not all networking groups are great or ideal for you, so you do need to be selective about the networking groups that you attend. You need to find a style that suits you and your business, and you need to find you know, a group of people that would be ideal for you, all right? But what I'm saying is don't dismiss it because it's uncomfortable, you know? You do need to step out of your comfort zone because the thing is, if you keep doing the same thing, then you're gonna keep having the same results in your business. And I know that you want to grow your business, okay? So I hope that's given you food for thought. I would love to hear your comments on the video below. So please post them there. Any insights, ahas or challenges. You know, maybe you're someone who absolutely loves networking. Or maybe you're somebody who's overcome their fears. Or maybe you're feeling inspired and you're considering um, going out networking now as a result of this video. I would love to know. So post your comments on the video below and till we speak again, much love and many blessings. Bye for now.